Hey guys, it's Stephanie and welcome to another Create a Sim. Um, this is actually going to be completely in real time. I actually shot it with the intents of speeding it up, but it only took me like 15 minutes to record, so we'll leave it in real time. Um, but this is a collab with my new friend, Jelly Simwich. Isn't that an awesome name? She has a great YouTube channel and I'm not just saying that, it is actually amazing. Her quality is great, her videos are great, I highly recommend you go watch them, and of course, she will have the counter part to my twin. We're doing twin boys. So I am creating Alan Che and she is creating Kobe Che and they are twin boys like I just said. Um, I'll get into a little bit more about my sim and his personality in just a second um, but at the very end of this video I will have a screenshot of her twin Kobe as well and then that way you can go watch her video to see how she created him and see if our thought process was the same or anything like that. Um, I actually haven't even seen the screen shot yet so whatever we come up with hopefully they look like they're twins I don't know <laughs> this is kind of a weird um a weird way to do a create a sim collab because usually twins are identical but in this in this um in this case they're fraternal so that means they are they are twins but they do not look exactly the same so I'm very very curious to see if they look similar at all and what their personalities are um, so anyways this is this is Alan again he is a child and I am selecting his traits right now he wanted a mental aspiration so he is a computer whiz and he is creative so that's awesome I've always wanted to be a computer whiz I sort of know my way around a computer which isn't really really the same thing, um, but my favorite, favorite movie in the entire world growing up was called Hackers, and <laughs> oh my gosh, it's, it's a great movie. I still love it to this day, but it's basically a couple of uh, kids that are really good with computers. Well, they're not teen kids. They're more like teens. They're in high school. Um, really good with computers. Well, actually, actually, the main character was a kid when the story started, and he, like, single-handedly took down a bunch of systems in one day. Like, it was an accident. I don't think he was trying to do that. He was trying to, like, do some hacking, and it ended up just going badly, and he got into a lot of trouble, and he was, like, banned from using a computer until he was, like, 18. I don't know. You'll have to go watch the movie to see. <laughs> I'm probably explaining it wrong. Um, but once he gets to high school he meets some other friends that are hackers and they have like this cool little community and they basically figure out that someone is trying to unleash a virus and blame it on hackers so their entire goal is to like get this guy and prove that he's the one that's doing all of this and all these hackers around the world unite and hack the planet is like their motto oh my gosh it's you have to see the movie but anyways I, I started talking about that because Alan is a little computer whiz so maybe he's got a bit of a hacker in him as well and he is also creative. So if you're creative and good with computers, oh my gosh, there's no stopping you. You could do anything that you want in this world. Um, <laughs> so he is a bit of a um, an egghead. I don't know. Is that the right word? <laughs> he is a bit of a... Um, of a little smart cookie. <laughs> so yeah, he likes to read. He likes to be on the computer. Um, he likes to play video games. So that's, that's Alan. So right now we're working on his features. And basically this was a sort of a challenge for me because his ethnicity, he's supposed to be either like Malaysian or Indonesian type of Asian. So so the way Jelly explained it to me was um, these twins are supposed to have uh, a little bit of darker skin and a little bit more rounded eyes. So that's kind of all I really had to go on. The rest is just sort of what I envisioned Alan looking in my head. Uh, so I definitely wanted to stick with like the darker brown hair and the dark brown eyes. Um, I do play around a little bit with the black hair and the black eyes, but it just, I'm, I don't know, it didn't really look right. Uh, and I do end up changing his skin tone, I believe, towards the end of the video a little bit, so that might change. Um, but right now I'm in edit detail mode and I'm working on the shape of the head. And I normally play Sims 3, but I've been really trying to get into Sims 4. So at first I really hated create a Sim because I didn't quite understand it, um, but I looked up some tutorials on exactly what edit detail mode does and regular mode does and what these little sliders, well they're not sliders, but like the little icons mean. So for example, this cross that we're looking at right now means that you can move the, um, the, 
feature that you're clicked on, up or down or left or right. There's other ones that let you pull it forward or backwards or make it longer or thinner, et cetera, et cetera. So once I really figured that part out, it was a little bit easier. Um, but the main thing that I learned was you pretty much have to pick the right features to begin with because if you click on the wrong head shape or the wrong nose shape, um, no matter what you do, you can't make it look a certain way. So I wanted the nose to be a little bit thicker and the nostrils to be a little bit more pronounced. So I found a nose that looked like that already and just tweaked it a little bit to my liking. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm really getting the hang of, of Create a Sim and Sims 4. It's not as hard as I thought. It was just a little frustrating because I was used to the sliders in Sims 3. Um, so yeah, I guess it's just a preference thing of what you like better. Hopefully the more I experiment with this, the more I will like it, but I at least understand it better than I did before. Um, if you watch some of my other creative Sims, you probably saw how frustrated I got when I was trying to create Alice in Wonderland in Sims 4, and I ended up just using her for my Let's Play Family Inheritance series instead because I didn't really think she looked like Alice. I couldn't get the nose quite right or the hair quite right, so I ended up making her in Sims 3 instead. So my Alice in Wonderland Let's Play series will be in Sims 3, and that should be coming out shortly. I, maybe not very shortly, but it'll, it'll come out soon enough. Um, <laughs> so just keep an eye out for that. I already did the Create a Sim and the introduction to the series and part of the speed build for the Alice in Wonderland castle, uh, which is actually the, the Queen of Hearts castle. I might actually make Alice her own separate home. So just some other things to keep an eye out on this channel for. Um, but right now, back to Alan Che. I am going back to the skin tone and just trying trying to figure it out. Um, again, I think it does change again towards the end, but for right now, I went with sort of like this uh, lighter, darker brown. That didn't make any sense. <laughs> um, I don't know. But now I'm working on the eyes. And again, this is where I'm trying to figure out if the black eyes or the dark brown eyes look better. And I don't know, someone once told me like, no, nobody has black eyes, but I swear my eyes are so dark, they almost look like they're black. So I see why this is a an eye color to choose from. I guess nobody has like black eyes in the sense that you can't tell the eye from the pupil, I would hope, but I don't know. They can get really dark, so I've always wanted blue or green eyes, but I was not as lucky. <laughs> so now I'm, I'm just going back into detail mode. Um, I thought the nose looked a little bit thinner than I originally wanted, so I'm going back in and just uh, widening, it, widening it up a little bit, and again, <laughs> these skin tones. I'm going to go back and forth a million times. You'll see what I actually settle on at the end of the video because I think I change it uh, once again. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not too familiar with Malaysian or Indonesian culture. So it was really cool to actually look through some photos for inspiration and learn something, learn something new about a different culture that uh, you're not necessarily used to hearing about all the time. So this was definitely fun and exciting and different than what I normally do. I kind of stick to my bubble and make the same type of Sims over and over again. So it's really nice to just think outside the box and, and do something a little bit more creative. Um, so now we are trying to pick out Alan's outfit. And since he is a computer whiz and he is book smart, I wanted to do something a little bit more um, formal. I don't know if formal is the right word, but definitely buttoned up type of thing. So I did really like this sweater with the the collared shirt underneath. Um, picking the right color though, that's always a challenge. And I ended up thinking that this red color looked really good on him. So I think most of the outfits I choose have some form of red in it or orange because he also looks really good in orange. Um, so right now picking out the pants to go with this cool little sweater vest. I guess you, I don't know, is it a vest? Not really. It's just a sweater with a, a collared shirt underneath. And now for the pants, um, I don't know. I didn't really want to do anything too casual in terms of really looking like jeans. And I did like these pants, but the colors looked way too similar to the top. And then it just kind of looked all blended in and mushy. Um, but I still just decided to go with sort of that gray color because when I clicked on the other pant options, nothing, I don't know, nothing really stuck out. Um, I thought these were way too formal. So we just went with like the grayish color. Uh, now working on the shoes and I like these shoes a lot. They almost look like Converse, but with the right color, they can also look like, um, 
hush puppies, I want to say. I don't know if that's right. I don't know if that's the thing. <laughs> I might have made that up. Penny loafers? I don't know. <laughs> but in the red, they look more like Converse. Definitely just some cute little sneakers. So I went with those. And now on to the formal outfit, which is not too formal really compared compared to his everyday look um i do like the sweater vest this one's actually a vest but we end up going with this red one with the bow tie because he just looks so adorable in a bow tie i couldn't help but not i couldn't help but choose that one um the red with a little black and and cream striped tie bow tie i thought just looked really 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 good on him and the pants, well, we only had one option, so we went with those, sort of a, a darker bluish color. And now picking out the shoes, I went with a little bit more of the formal boot, short boot type shoes and just made those a, a dark black color. I really wish there was some more color options, but I did what I could with what I had. And now moving on to the athletic outfit. Um, this looks kind of like a soccer type shirt, but definitely, definitely something you can play sports in. And these are more like basketball shorts, but you know what? That's okay. We've got, we've got a look going on. It's red and orange, his two favorite colors. And we've got the, the high top sneakers here that I went with uh, orange, green, and blue. So lots of colors, lots of colors in this outfit, but nothing wrong with that. It's fun and, and sporty. And um, now I am working on his nightwear, which again, not a whole lot of options. I didn't really want him to sleep in like a sweater or a long sleeve shirt. So I just went with this t-shirt in the classic red and the um, drawstring PJ bottoms with just, just a black color. I cycled through a few different colors, but I thought the black look bed with best with the red and gave him some little slippers. The bunnies were cute, but I don't know. He doesn't strike me as a bunny type of boy. So I just went with the, the classic black slippers and on to the party outfit. <laughs> so for the party outfit, again, just I don't know. I went with something probably a little bit more casual than he would wear every day or that he would wear for a formal event, um, but it, it still kept it fun. So we went with this, I don't know, I call them bowling shirts. I don't know if they're actually bowling shirts or not, but that's what it reminds me of. <laughs> and a pair of jeans, which um, I can't remember what color, what color did I pick? Those paint splatter ones are fun, but it doesn't look like something Alan would wear. So I just went with the, the classic dark dark color yeah like a dark grayish almost black jeans and for the shoes I I went with these again they well not again I didn't use these before they remind me of the penny loafers too but depending on the color they could look like I don't know more formal shoes um and now on to the swimwear there is uh only three options so I just picked I picked the longest one more of like the board shorts type look and of course went with that reddish orange color as well so that's basically it for the outfits I'm just going to go through them again real quick so you can see kind of a 360 so this is our everyday look got the little patches on his elbow <laughs> very old manish <laughs> and the bow tie is also very old manish he has a very old so soul <laughs> um and here's the athletic wear again the night wear just some comfy pjs the party wear although it looks more like he's going bowling but he could go to a bowling party <laughs> and the swimwear so that is it guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video it is short and sweet and i will try to do some more creative sims in the future of course i would love to do some more collabs so if you want to do a collab with me just shoot me an idea and we could definitely make it happen also if you would like to be featured on my house tour series you can hit me up as well just find me on any of the social medias just look up simmerkey on instagram twitter facebook google youtube Snapchat. I think that's all of them. Or if all else fails, email me at thesimmerkey at gmail.com. Also, don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss the next video and I will see you guys next time. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And thank you, Jelly, so much, so much for collabing with me. Here is this screenshot of Kobe. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know. Do they look like they're twins? Do they look like they're even related? Definitely go watch uh, Jelly Sandwich's video as well so you can watch her create a sim. And I will see you guys next time. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.